So for those not in the know for Arena, Arena meta has been established a little bit more with Rastakhan's Rumble. Warrior is still number one uh, because of course the buckets are still top tier in Warrior and the cards from Rastakhan's Rumble were decent. Hunter actually climbs up a bit because Rastakhan's Rumble's cards are really good for them. But today we're not offered either Warrior or Hunter, so I'll pick the strongest class on the tier list of Rogue. Never see it coming. The Madman! Also we're gonna see an increased Rastakhan's Rumble cards. Finally get a chance to see some of the cards that we don't see in Constructed. I think I'm gonna choose Deranged Doctor because of Necrium Blade, otherwise I'd probably have chosen Buccaneer. But this is a really good Death Rattle and Trigger. And it's like a decent card by itself. Hey, that's another good card. That's a better card to trigger with Necrium Blade. Hey look, that's a card we can trigger with Necrium Blade also. Decent overall card, but Betrayal is likely better. We managed to deal three, I guess. Oh. Oh. What does the fuck say? Oh. Trail number two loses uh, some value after the first one. I was actually looking up um, top winning cards in Arena and Steel Rager popped up. Steel Rager seems to be a card that is just overall good in decks. I'm gonna stick with Betrayal though. Peasant. Another Necrium Blade. I mean, it was good the first time, and I picked up more Death Rattle since then. Apple Bomb. That's a decent card overall. Cavern Shiny Finder with the two Necrium Blades. That's that's legit. I was also looking up Dragon Maul Scorcher, and that card wins a lot. The Shiny Finder gets a lot better when you have two Necrium Blades in your deck, though. We're gonna actually try to build Death Rattle Rogue, I think. So this card is actually decent, and it's good with Necrium Blade. 3 mana 3 2 is decent. 3 mana 3 2, summon a 3 2 is really good. Curves right into Necrium Blade also. Uh, betrayal number 3 starts to get much less interesting. But I will still pick the Betrayal number 3 over Stormwind Champion, I guess. I really like Betrayal. The on 2, I have 2 plays so far, though that's not really a play. Mastodon versus 2 mana 2 3. I'll choose Big Guy and Rogue. Oh, that's a uh, lame pack. I think Silverback Patriarch is actually the strongest card here. You did it, little guy. Traditions is decent. Phantom Militia is great in Rogue, especially, and I have no six drops. Yeah, that's that's a death rattle. Summon the uh, Violet Worm would be pretty sick. They did Threshadon. Decent death rattle. Seven drop. It's a card. Necrium Blade number three. Oh, that really makes our deck a Necrium Blade deck. Deck theme. Most weapons are good even if you have to pay two mana more for it. Just kind of a Valley Lake game card. How much Valley Lake game do I need? We don't have that much right now. Only five, four real big cards. Three weapons already, but these are all uh, low durability weapons, which don't suck if you overwrite them. Ooh, Sharkfin fan. Yeah, oh, there's the Scorcher again. Cool. Would I rather have Assassin in this deck or Cheap Shot? It's like, what huge things do we really need to remove anyways? Betrayal can sometimes lead, uh, leave multiple things at low health, so I guess we can combo Cheap Shot with Betrayal. Bulldozer versus Piloted Reaper. Versus Cold Blood. I could use a big card at the end. Guess I'll pick Bulldozer. Big card. Ooh. Another shiny finder. Yeah, I need to pick up the mid game with the rock. Oh, the cube with the... That's so much better in this deck than usual. Cube one of these huge cards, and then get him with the uh, Necrium Blades. We have a deck! I think Betrayal number four might be a little bit much. Grizzly? Which is good to cube. Really good to cube. So, we've got a very specific themed arena here. Haven't built a uh, such a strongly themed arena in quite a bit. We've got some potentially disgusting things if I manage to get the Necrium Blade off on the cube, especially if the cube eats a grizzly. I'll guess nine. Valir versus Rexa. 
I wonder if I keep Necrim Blade in the hand. If I have two, um... Uh, two cavern shiny finders. And how good is it to curve? Eh, it's really good to curve the blade into the illusionist. Oh my god. If I get the blade into the illusionist and it gets the worm, that would be uh, the nuts. But this stupid rock is in the way. I have a 50 50 chance of success, pretty much. Get out of my hand, so the illusionist can uh, get my worm for a higher chance. Hmm. It's not bad, shaker. I think I want to choose the. No, well, no, I'll choose an illusionist because illusionist can get the shaker also. Uh. Illusionist uh, has 66% good result. Hmm, that's not a bad result either. Cool. And then we can play the rock, and the Illusionist will get a very high chance of getting something. According to Hearth Arena, I'm told, uh, I have a 62 point rogue deck here, which is an extremely low score. That said though, Synergy. You can't boil this deck down to a number. I'm not a number. Oh, womp womp. Any of these would have been so OP. A look at the Rumble Tusk Fricker, which you've never seen constructed. Hmm. How much do I want taunt? I don't think it matters that much right now. Just need the bigger minion. Another minion. Oh. If only I had a good card to go into Gastropod. I'd run the board, I guess. In terms of crushing walls, it didn't matter where I put this since he could always kill a guy and then make this guy the left or right miss. But I guess better would have been to place it in between these two because then you'd have to kill this instead of that. Oh man, it's time for some deranged of value. Seven. I can activate it immediately. Right. Oh boy. Squire, attend me. Casual twenty-five coming in. Oh. It's 
25 damage being represented by the blade plus that. Oh, thank goodness for betrayal. See two, five, seven. Best has gotta be to get so many deranged doctors. So. No shinies. Here we go. <laughs> well, the Rumble Tusk Shaker is strong enough in the deck to keep as one of the only four drops, and it's so good to follow up with Necrium Blade. Uh, follow up after Necrium Blade, that is. Impressive. What was the anime of the year for 2018 for you? There were a lot of good ones, especially at the second, um, what was it, the winter portion? I think for me though, it's Goblin Slayer, but there are a lot of good ones. Sword Art Elysiization was very strong too. And the bunny girl one was also very good. The slime one's also really good. But, you know, if you gotta choose, I think Goblin Slayer is the best. Oh, yikes. That's a yikes. Gonna have to count on Betrayal to finish that off. Hopefully he doesn't have removal for Apple Bomb. If I'm really ambitious... A boom bot can deal four to that next turn. Given that I plan to attack the Hydra anyways, I might as well wait a turn. Yeah, and actually we can play this guy. Might be able to take the hit. Or even this guy. Yeah, I mean Taunt should be played last. A 2-4 is strong against the board of a 3-2 and an 8-4. And if I can get my Necrium Blade to trigger the Kaboom bot on the Hydra, that's a good deal. Praise our in Jesus. That's killing six damage, so. Yep. And then I can either spend the coin for the blade or I can dagger. The turn after, I want to play the dire troll, probably. If I play dagger here next turn on eight, hmm. I could play four four. I think we need to speed it up, yeah. Oh, wild form. Activate the ability, hope to hit the Hydra. 
Uh, probably play Ravasaur Runt with it. Assuming I discard still and steal successfully. Well, a few parlays here. Pump, pump. idea how I'll ever get past this worm, much less anything else he plays. This deck, keep a 4 drop, sure. We wanna... no, that's a late game card. That last game with the Kaboom bot had hit the uh, Hydra, the 50-50, I think it would have gone the other way. He had some really high tempo, consistent plays there. So the dream would be Illusionist summons bot. I, I could just try that on turn four, but maybe better is to play the Ravasaur Runt, get the stuff out of the hand. In this case, I don't have a good follow-up. A dream. Looks like he didn't have AoE, so let's go for that. AoE deals that much anyways. Backstab. Here we go. No longer have to play around MCT in Arena. <laughs> but still, Kaboom Bot would be a little bit too committing, plus I want to get the Kaboom Bot with the Illusionist. My six drop. Or this could be six. Yeah, well, it's my five two stay alive. I like it. Ravisar runt of dap choice carrying the game. You guys are like, plus one, plus one, oh no, defile. Oh no. Finishing blow, get him. That could be pretty high tempo. Coin out the blade on two. Play the bot on three. It's only good if he has like lots of guys. Pretty unlikely. So I'll probably save the coin for maybe a Mastodon or something. Oh. Here 
Salvation. Hmm. Curve? Curve. It's very likely I'm going to play Nacrium Blade. So you might think I should have swung the uh, dagger in there, but there was this chance that I wouldn't. Uh, in the case where... No, not this case. So I missed one, but there are chances that I wouldn't. Uh, betrayal this, swing, swing. Yep. Betrayal that, swing, swing. Either way. Oh, that's not bad. I don't know. It's Necrium and Nexia. Try this! Keep the two four around. Here we go. Or blocks five damage. Arena's full. Beat it. So OP. But you'll never pa make it past my silverback patriarch. Too. I was looking at the stats and it's like, oh yeah, those states doing really well. Not too big a surprise, I guess. Hmm. I don't think anything saves me here, but we'll try this. That's bad, it just uh, removed that. <laughs> That's really bad. Here we go. Hmm. I think if I have Shiny Finder in hand, I mulligan Blade. As I'm drawing the blade anyways. Ooh, that's a curve. There we go. Thing we want in this game. Perfect curve into perfect cube grizzly. I see hmm. I thought into the uh, blade into the cube, but that wasn't very good given what I could cube. And then Blade and the Grizzly is too fast, and I thought about Dagger, but that's not great either, so just play on Curve. Well fought. Uh, the Runt isn't strong enough for two. Blink Fox is a good three drop. Grizzly is... nah. There's so many cards we want to get. Necrium Blades, uh, Shark Fin Fan, 
and Cavern Shiny Finder. And there are six of those. Didn't draw any, unfortunately. Alright. You're not great, but you'll do. but comes a turn too late. As long as it keeps out arrows. Seven. Three seven is looking pretty good there. Oh wait, I can play a four seven. Why not play a four seven? Grizzly is growing. Hey, good tickets don't come cheap. That's a good wolf rider target. Wolf wolf. So we'll keep the Venomancer on the board. We have a good betrayal target. the gamba for that 3-1 shot, I'm sure. Oh. oh, we have the Necrom Blade to kill the 2-3. Would be a good time to play this. Interestingly enough, I actually thought about crushing walls and put it in the middle, but wrong to put it in the middle because he can just kill the left anyways. Better to put it on the right here. Cube Dream? Some death rattles better than others. Oh, Cube Dream, oh my god. Does this count right now? If I actually cast the other two? After you cast three spells in a turn, summon a 5 5 dragon? Does that work? No, I'm being told. I knew that, but yeah, it's good to check. Check to see if you guys know, right? Valley Valley. Realistically, could actually get a really good death barrel, so we won't swing here. How many good death barrels are in the deck? Worm, Doctor, Threshy, Apple Bomb, Cube, Illusionist, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Kaboom Bot, 7. Half of the deck is a death barrel. Oh, Illusionist, wait a second. That... Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Backstab. 
getting for shark fin fan and the four drops and a better three drop militia i mean fox fox good Yeah, that's occurred. Phew. I can dagger or I can blade. Dagger is more like efficient, but this sets things up. But I don't have a good way of breaking this, so I should actually save the charge of Nakuyam blade. No dagger. <laughs> With a different hand, I would have um, played Blade. The Blade turn. Might just cube my fox. Not like fantabulous, but good enough. Good enough. I'll take it. Like summon a 3-3 three, three and Weird. give something plus 2 health. Like 3-5 worth of value on the Necrium Blade. It's good. Tapping addiction. Turn two, four, two, turn three, two, four. Three mana, two, four, that's good enough. by me. So far a weak start from him too though. <laughs> it's like, Patriarch, you're outclassed by hero power. That was sad. But really, Kaboom Body and Phantom Militia are also both outclassed, so it's sad all around. This is like a game where we drew zero of the synergy, and we actually drew the weaker cards of the deck, too. What is Not necessarily weaker, but untimely draws. Now how about... <laughs> <laughs> just looking at these two next to each other and it's like <laughs> um, and yet you might win this one patriarch no it's a 2-2 two, two. two fours are actually good so next turn I'm almost always playing Necrium Blade plus Silverback Patriarch but one damage what would cause me not to play the Necrium Blade. I would have to draw either Threshadon or a 5-drop. Not Grizzly, not Scorcher, so I'd have to draw Nesting Rock 
exactly for me not to attack here. I guess we'll hit face for one. Uh, not entirely true. There's also stolen steel and blank fox that could get me it, but the one damage is useful enough. But he's taking it easy here. Going with the double nana. That silverback patriarch's turn to shine. We're actually Kaboom bot now. Because I want to copy Violet Ring. He's like, ha! We gotta kill this Kaboom bot. Well. He's got the Necrium Blade, and then it'll whiff. Little does he know, Violet Worm coming up. Oh wow, I actually have to do this in such a bad order. Attack first. No, it's fine. No matter what I hit, it's all good. Yep. Cheater. Okay, wave number two will get ya. Does dingo. Yes. You betcha, and I'll get ya. I wonder for Bulldozer. If they tested this out in like a 9 mana 9 9 Divine Shield, and they were like, no, that's too strong. Did that possibly happen? Because this card could totally be a 9-10 and it wouldn't be too strong. Are they balancing around Arena? What if... Thinking. Time goes short. Big guy number three, go! What do you guys think? Is the 3 mana 2 4 strong enough to keep? 10 cards I think I'd rather have, but I do also want a 3 drop. This is like the 3 drop that you would want to play on 3, so I guess. Just because it's not that strong, I might consider shipping it for something stronger, but I guess our deck isn't strong enough to warrant that. I think it's not good enough to just weapon here. I should play a real card. It's Next time. turn I'll play dagger and a two drop of some sort. It's harvest time. I'll swing at this, probably. So in turn 6, I want to swing with Blade. Turn 7, Thresh it on, swing with Blade. So turn 6 is Blade, Wolf Rider. So this turn would be... No, I'm playing so this. Next turn is probably Blade Betrayal, I guess. Womp womp. Here we go. Oh, 
I could consider playing Fire War Axe. It'd be good if I knew he specifically had a weapon destruction in his hand. Otherwise, it's just a waste. The light dims, but we fight. Next turn, though, I could actually get two wolf riders. Based on my skill, 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 skill. But it would be so much better to cube the pressure, though. So much better. But it'd be so awesome. Taste my steel. Put the opponent down to 10. Or play Threshadon. As much as I want to. The good old 5 mana War Axe. Because 2 mana wasn't enough. That's what you need right now. More dragons. Well, he does actually need the Scorcher. That'd be a sick dragon or dra. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, twelve. I got me. Kaboom bot on three, Shaker on four, Scorcher on five. It's a curse. I'll keep all of it. Hope to get better 3 drop. That's an option. This is a quote-unquote power play since it used the coin. So. Worth trading for. Thinking about hitting it, sure, because then I can hit it again and then Scorcher. I could cheap shot potentially. And it's only two damage. To my side. Speak your peace. <laughs> cheap shot, cheap shot looks good here. But I hit it last turn. Could also actually attack in Dragon Ball Scorcher. Yeah, that's better. And then Cheap Shot can be played on six. Here we go. playing this just to get it killed by the weapon that's visible, but yeah. it's that hard play runt. We might be in a position where it's hard to use the kaboom, but the cheap shot wasn't saved because it becomes better later, although that was a minor uh, consideration. It's just having an extra 3-6 on the board is good. Oh, wow. Huh. Okay. That's a clever way of... Nice, I like it. So I could actually dagger this, but that's... 
possibly a little bit too painful. Maybe I should just attack him? Yeah, and then refresh the blade. Pretty wasteful, but I have betrayal. And cheap shot. Let's go. Here we go. We'll make him feel pain. Trading blows. How exciting. So option one, Mastodon. Set him to ten. I leave the three six available. I have five, six, twelve, thirteen against his ten. Option two, cheap shot, cheap shot. Kill all the stuff. Uh, uh, cheap shot option. Either way I played it, there's like some chance of losing. I think this way is a smaller chance of losing. That's a hand. Just give me a. Uh... <laughs> give me a Rumble Tusk Shaker. That's pretty good too. Unfortunate, but without him playing a minion, the Necroom Blade isn't nearly a good play. It starts him off slow on Fire Blast, Fire Blast at least. Get up. Dagger Runt? Yeah, that's worth. There's only one thing I could really think about there, and I paused for a moment afterwards. It's like, should I have swung with the dagger first before playing Necro and Blade? And I think probably not. I do have something I can trigger immediately. Cobalt Illusionist. Well, that's great, but... So much better. Ooh. Even crazier. Just develop Necrium Blade right now. A one durability Necrium Blade is better than a two durability Necrium Blade. So yes. Many options. Ooh, monsters behind you. Here we go. Oh -ho. Oh man, if he AOE's this and I get a 1 1 violet. Or... Oh, what? Here we go. Oh, it's coming again. Backstab. What's 
coming, Max. Turn. Oh my God. Mm. That's a sticky board. Destroyed a bulldozer. Now that's cheating. What to do? Oh no, now if he kills the ooze, I'll only get one bulldozer. Oh no. Need a key. You win. <laughs> oh ho ho. Wait, no, the grizzly isn't good if I don't have the key. Wait, no, that's not good. Tempos there. Ah, sweet. Let's get ready to go. rumble. Where do we gamble? What's better here? A one-one divine shield or a one-one restore four health taunt? Or 1-1, one, one, summon a 3-2. I mean, this is clearly better if I randomly get that one. But, in most other cases, I'd rather just have a 3-2. Like, it's kind of a rare situation where the Illusionist all has slight benefits right now. Uh, let's, let's gamble. Nice to have the extra little bit of health. I'm not sure if that was better or worse than the 1-1 one, one Divine Shield. Pretty close, truth be told. <laughs> oh no! Oh, it's so over. Unbelievable. Necrom Blade Dagger next turn. Woof! That cube, what a pick in the draft. He's like, well, I can't play anything with six attack, otherwise the cube will die. But little does he know. <laughs> He's about to get rolled. Quickly. Oh, the despair! Unless he's about to give me despair. Oh my. Okay. Hunter used flail. He's confused. Here we go. Why am I attacking that? I should just have the cube attack that. Yes, I should. Here we go. <laughs> what? What? Astounding. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, we gotta get something to eat, though. for a moment not to kill this because of betrayal but it's just gonna go. be way too obvious but does it matter that it's obvious here we go 
Whatever, I should be able to kill the three drop with the blade anyways. The trail can be used later. Hmm. Here we go. I'll just use that as the fiery war axe first, I guess. I actually played the wrong blade if he was paying attention. Bad state of affairs, but tempo tempo. Here we go. If only I had gotten the Cobalt Illusionist. Oh dear. Oh dear. Here we go. Cube triggers! Woo! Whiff on the Necrium Blade number two. I love omelets. Maybe we can actually survive to play our Doctor and our Threshadon. If we take this path. Maybe. I could actually... Oh. I wonder. Cubes in the way. I could consider doing Militia Blade right now. That I can play Deranged Doctor in time. I hit this, he has 1, 2, 3, 5 damage, I go down to 9. I think I need this right now. This is some uh, serious giving up of value, but I see in my hand here, it's got some really good stuff. Come to me, little ones. I see you. <laughs> He's really uh trying to get that's pretty cool. Good job. Trying to ruin my fun. So many Time, at least I'll have played this and I will have not have dived. Don't need to use it now. Ooh, the like no! <laughs> So much burst damage. Been can on seven burst damage there. I played it safe the whole time, and then I was like, eh, I think I can give it a turn. I stick by the last turn, not breaking the uh, blade for the 50 50, of course. 